In this video tutorial, we're going to show you a quick way to isolate individual elements within a single SVG file. Now, with Shortcuts a lot 4, this process is so much easier. There's so much less work because of the eraser tool. And this process is pretty much identical to the process that we would use in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. So in this example, we're going to bring up one of the pieces from one of our Halloween lanterns. And you may be working on something completely different, and maybe you just need to cut something out one more time, but you don't need to cut the entire thing out. Or when you were cutting something, one part of it messed up, and you don't want to recut everything because you want to save some paper. So in Shortcuts Lot 4, this process is a lot easier because of the addition of the eraser tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the eraser tool over here on the left, and right now, I have a giant square. Now yours may not be a square. Um, yours may be a circle. And actually, I kind of like the circle better. You can change the size of that square or circle here by increasing or decreasing it. And as you can see, as I decrease, it gets smaller. Now, I'm just going to leave it at about 2.5 inches just so that it just makes everything easier. Now let's say that this top piece is the piece that I wanted to keep. I needed to recut this because something happened to it. Uh, maybe my page slipped towards the end or something didn't cut right. I need to replace my blade. So many different reasons why you may need to recut something. But it doesn't matter what that reason is. Um, this is basically the easiest solution. You grab the eraser tool and just erase the parts that you don't want to cut. Okay, you just got to be kind of careful not to get too close to the parts that you do want to cut. And once they're erased, you'll notice if we grab the basic tool here, it still keeps everything together. Okay, and you can move it around as you'd like. One thing I would recommend doing before submitting this to cut is clicking preview, giving it a second, and just making sure that there aren't any stray cut lines somewhere down here that you may have missed while erasing. But that's pretty much it. It's ready to go.